students today's class we are going to see about what is medical physics medical physics is nothing but applications of physics to the functions of human body in health and care so the area of medical physics overlaps two very large fields medicine and physics number 1 is called as applications of physics to the functions of human body in health and disease and second one is applications of physics to the practice of medicine so the first one can be called as physics of physiology and the second one can be called as physics in the practice of medicine the words physicist and physician have a common root in the greek word physiki meaning science of nature today the first thing the physician does after taking the medical history of a patient is to give him a physical examination during this examination he uses the stethoscope measures the pulse rate measures the blood pressure and in other ways it is called nothing but applies physics some of the common measurements in physical examinations you can see it in this picture the first one is the stethoscope which gives you the pulse rate second one is the weight third one is the temperature then fourth one is the x rays okay now we are going to see about the branches in medical physics physical medicine deals with diagnosis and treatment of disease and injury by means of physical agents such as manipulations massage exercise heat and water physical therapy is nothing but treatment of disease which are bodily weakness or physical by physical means such as massage exercise rather than by taking drugs then there is a branch which is called as radiological physics which involves the applications of physics to radiological problems then there is a branch in medical physics which is called as what nuclear medicine can anyone tell what is a nuclear medicine this is nothing but the use of radiation radionuclides for diagnosis and treatment of disease in medicine so now we are going to see the applications of high frequency electricity in medicine okay this was started in the year 1929 the heating effects of high frequency current 10 kilohertz were observed by jaguars d arson ball in 1990 in later in 1929 frequencies near 30 megahertz are used for therapy therapy means what treatment of disease the use of frequency is near 30 megahertz were used for heating the body tissue is called as what short wave diathermy in short wave diathermy there were two methods one is a capacitance method another one is a inductance method all based on your uh, the theory that you have learned in what electricity and magnetism resonance lc and rc first one is a capacitance method the tissue to be heated is placed between two capacitor plates that have an oscillating electric field across them the changing because it's you are applying a ac field so it's changing electric field forces the ions in the tissue to move back and forth thus they occur kinetic energy as they move work is done kinetic energy part of it which dissipated when the ions collide with the molecules in the tissue the heat produced when the energy is disappeared dissipated depends approximately square of the current which is named by a great scientist which is called as what joule heating then the capacitance method the picture shows this is the diagram you can see it and this is the diagram for what inductance method the same principle is used but in inductance diathermy the portion of the body to be heated is placed within or near the inductor then a 30 megahertz current in the coil produces an alternating magnetic field alternating a magnetic field in the tissue that produces eddy currents the energy lost by the eddy currents appears as heat in the tissue hope you have learnt eddy current in your ug classes next one is a inductance diathermy diagrams so these are the ways in the modern hospitals you can go for therapy the uses of short wave diathermy treatment of arthritis treatment of traumatic injuries strains and strains 